So let's insert some data. So we'll say Billy. Uh, password we'll just use as the same thing. So pass one, two, three. First name Billy, last name Garrett. Let's click go and insert that data. Now you can see that um, everything's done, everything's worked. We've got ID of one for Alex and two for Billy. So let's try logging each user in and we should return now. We should return this user ID. So Alex, pass one, two, three. Click login and it's returned a value of one. Now let's try Billy. Um, pass one, two, three click login and it's returned a value of 2 so now we're logging the user in and we're also returning the user ID now why do we need this user ID the reason we need it is because we need to store it in a session in some session data so we can now then well we can then tell that the user has logged in and we can also use this ID to get any information we need from this table for example we can select the first name or the surname or both from say if we've stored one inside a session uh, that would mean that Alex is logged in then we can get any data we need so these are the fundamentals of a user login system storing something that allows us to access data about our user which can change so one day I could log in as Alex and one day I could log in as Billy or another user could log in as Billy okay so let's um, let's put this into a session now before we before we do that we need to define something in our core.ink.php remember this is included at the very top of our index page core.ink.php we need to say session underscore start remember we need to do that for all sessions to be able to use them on pages so as long as we include this core.ink.php on every file which we will be doing um, at the very top then we're going to be able to log users in we also want ob start before that because what we're going to be doing is using header headers the header function to re redirect our user back to the index page when they've logged in correctly so we need ob start session start and now in here what we can do is we can say dollar underscore session um, user underscore id equals user underscore id so we've grabbed the user ID from the user that has cor correctly entered their username and password. Now we're storing it inside a session called session ID or called user ID. Okay. Now what we want to do is say header location, and we want to go back to the index.php page. We're already on that, but this will just refresh it. It will perform the checks to say is this user logged in, and it will give us some data out. So. Um, Okay, so we're pretty much done there. Let's just um, go back to our index.php page um, and we will create an if statement. Now, let's assume, um, create an if statement else and then down here. Let's assume, uh, we'll ignore this for now. Let's assume that a, 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 a session called user ID has been set and it isn't empty. Now this means that the user has logged in because it means that we've gone through the process of setting this to the user ID of the correct user that's logged in or the user that's correctly entered their details. So all we need to do is say if is set dollar underscore session user underscore ID and not empty dollar underscore session user ID so for any reason that a session called user ID has been set and it's not empty then um, we still run this code well we, we say is it not empty because we need it to be we need it to contain a value in that case we can say echo you you're logged in. Let's uh, just escape that uh, single quotation mark. Otherwise, we want to present the user with the login form. So let's just go through before I test this whole login process because we've pretty much logged a user in now. So let us let me just test this or we'll go through this in my head. Or not in my head, but with you guys. So um, uh, we'll start from this bit here. We grab the user ID from the result of where we've already echoed this out So you know what it does. We, we've got one for Alex and two for Billy. We set the session here 
So this session will now equal 1 if I log in as Alex. Then we relocate to index.php. So we're already on index.php because we've included this. Um, we can even refresh now just to, just to show you that we're still logged in. So we're still not logged in. Now as soon as I type in Alex here, and I type in pass123 here and I click log in, we're going to process everything that we've already talked about, then we're going to locate back to index.php, so we're going to refresh the page essentially. Then this, che then this check is going to happen again, but this time we have set session with the user ID uh, key, and it's not empty, so we're going to say you're logged in. So let's test that. Click in log in, and now it says you're logged in. No matter how many times we refresh this page, the session is still set, therefore we're still logged in. So now you've essentially learned how to log a user in. And that's basically it for logging a user in. What you can now do is on any other page that you work with, say you had a page called, um, I don't know, um, tutorials.php and you needed the user to be logged in, you could use this line. What you could do to make things easier and quicker is get rid of this inside here and create a function that allows you to quickly check if the user's logged in. So let's go back to core.ink.php and we're going to create a function called logged in. And what we're going to do inside this function is we're going to say if we're going to do exactly the same as what we've done, what we've just, that we've just removed from uh, index.php here, but we're going to put it in a function. So all we need to do is call this. So if um, if is set uh, everything set and it's not empty, return true. Um, and otherwise, up here we can say return. Oh no, probably not a good way to do it. And we could say here else return false. So if we are logged in, we're going to return true. Otherwise, we're going to return false. So if you know about functions and if you've correctly learned about functions, you'll know I can just put if logged in, then it will say we're logged in because this will return true. So this block will run. If we return false, we're going to include the login form. So uh, let's go back to the page and see if that works. Yep, it still tells us that we are logged in.